the floor. This is a fantastic group and a lot of passion. So please take this information out there and tell everybody what we're trying to do and say and what's our aspiration when it comes to the future. My name is Bob DeVore, I'm working for DeVore. And, and just before the Great Depression, where everybody had a lot of money, a lot of happiness, and all of a sudden, boom, it went down. You see people jumping out of the, of the buildings because they had no hope, because they put all the hope and money. I mean, to me, they should have had God first, and they would have found their hope. But what happened was, you see, specks of hope always throughout the county and the country. My dad was 10 years old. And with his grandmother, I only had two nickel drugs between them. And what they did was they took a one piece of bologna, but they put two pieces of bread, and gave it out the back door to the homeless, to the guys who were trying to find a job. They were trying to make a difference, even when they didn't have nothing at all. And here we are today, we're looking at a, a, a travesty when it came to end of year, shutting down everything when it comes to 2020, including the churches. Okay? Small well, businesses are still even failing today. So what I want to do is I'm going to put God first, family second, economics third, school sports. When it comes to family, we need to get back to the core value of being a mother and a father, a husband and a wife. These things are not being taught in the school system. And we need to get back to those basics, the core value of what God gave us, the opportunity to serve. Next, we want to talk about senior citizens. Right now, they're digging into their, their 401k just to pay for eggs and bacon and beef and all these things. So what I'm going to do is I want to help them. I want to take away and eliminate property tax at 62 years of age. And that's one way. We need to do that. Not only that, I need to pay a lot of school taxes. I have an income on commission. I don't have any kids in, in school. Why am I paying taxes? So we'll eliminate that too. So it's property tax. School tax and income tax at the age of 62 and above. Now it's your money. You should be able to keep that money instead of waiting until you see a TV set saying you get $900 if you follow this blah 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 Medicare stuff. Okay? Why not go ahead and keep your own money? Do what you want with it. Okay? And that's the whole point. Now when it comes to economics, we're sending beef out of state. Okay? And, and why not go ahead and build a mechanism inside of Kentucky? Where you can have it going, grow your grass, Kentucky fried beef, but go ahead and process it right here in Kentucky. You're going to go ahead and create a quality of products, you're going to create more jobs, and you're going to make sure that that product is at high standard instead of waiting until. And we're doing it with chickens out in China, okay? We have enough food to around in China with those chickens. They're all flopping away and we don't know. But the point of the matter is that we're setting those standards and making sure that, number one, Kentucky takes care of it. Not only in that, in milk. And other products we can do that with Kentucky. So we we created a better quality of life in Kentucky by making sure that the is number uh, is number two. Next, our school system. I'm a former school board member of Prairie County. We looked at St. Audit. And one thing we looked at was reading. Reading is the cornerstone of everything. Okay? Now I can just ask you a question. Now, what's one of your favorite books? Mine was Treasure Islands. Okay? I like Trigger I like the he had pirates in there. You know, arr, arr, off the plant, you know? And the thing is, kids not getting that. They're looking down their cell phones and they're saying this is their life. Why not? And I went into a library and it was just like going to a grave site. There was nobody there. We need to get that passion back in there. And by raising the, the standard of fourth grade reading across Kentucky, make sure they read a minimum fourth grade level. And the thing is, yeah, books are exciting because they, they explore your imagination and see all these things, like Star Wars is the one they come up. But what matters is that all this fun is great. But let's get down to earth when it comes to practical matters. But number one, you can't get a driver's license, you can't read. You can't get a job at UPS for working 10 years, you can't read. You can't even in going there on forces be able to read. Okay. All these things are here as cornerstone is reading is everything. Even trade school. Okay? Now, let me think about this. George Washington only had third grade level. But he took that and he ran with it. He learned everything he can. He came to one of the best matters that we ever had. If it wasn't for George Washington, we probably be in the British Isles, okay? Mm -hmm. The point of the matter is that reading is the cornerstone to everything. So, when it comes down to what I'm trying to say is, I'm going to just do four years. Get out. And I think we lost that. And the time fathers wanted us to do a part-time job. Now it's a full-time job. 
Everybody's trying to raise the next level. Even right now, uh, Andy's thinking about being the president of the United States. In the next four, five, six years, he had this, this stardom, and guys are like, hey, I have my dad here, we can do this. And that's kind of scary, isn't it? Okay? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I, uh, top of his head, president as it is. Okay? But the point of that is that, what do we do today? Do we have somebody who's going to be established in, in the, the confines of politics, or do we want to have a guy who has the, the passion and the fight to make sure that Kentucky is great? And make sure that kids are not being attacked in schools. Innocents are being taken away. You got books in the school system that need to be looked at. And CRT is a mess, okay? Now, I'm not saying that kids not need to know this. I think there should be a certain level. When the kids at first, fourth grade, let them be kids. Let them understand that there are only male and female, okay? God created male and female creatures. Like you look at all the points of all the other ones, the animals. Male, female, cow, male, female, horses, so on and so forth, right? I mean, that's just a given, isn't it? But it is. So, God bless you all. And uh, May 16th, and last but not least, whoever wins May 16th, we're going to be back behind them because we want to knock, no one knock these Steve and Zero out of there because that's where us are live, right? Andy and Steve are together like this. Yeah. We want to knock him out of there, make sure that he doesn't even think about running for president. We want to send him out there in nowhere land where he needs to be. So thank you guys. God bless you all. More with the more, guys. Thank you very much.